The second category of the Asset Management Clause deals with information classification. The first control is called classification of information, and it states that information has to be classified and categorized based on defined requirements. A main reason for this control is that a company's resources are not infinite. In most cases, an organization can't provide the same level of security and protection to its information, especially when the data is big. Another reason is that companies normally have some information that is more sensitive than others, and such information must have its own protective controls, such as specific access controls, backup settings, and communication rules. The entity responsible for data classification is the entity that uses this data and understands its value to the business. This entity is usually the business owner, or based on this standard, the asset owner. The classification should include several levels, depending on the information's sensitivity, criticality, and value to the organization. This classification should also be consistent throughout the organization, meaning that all data should be classified according to the same model. This control suggests four levels of classification, but that could differ depending on each organization's requirements. The levels depend on the effects that an information disclosure might cause. The lowest level would have no effect if the information is disclosed. The second would cause a minor inconvenience, while the third would cause a significant temporary impact on operations. The highest level would cause serious strategic impact that would affect the survival of the organization. Through its life cycle, information's classification level could decrease, as it becomes outdated or irrelevant. Such change should be reflected on the security controls that are being used at each level.